Need her is back with a, a very different item build. With that said, he hasn't played in a while. That's why we're taking a little bit older VODs. But the new two last patches, he has been playing pretty much one build only. And we're going to have a look at it after the teaser. This is from his YouTube channel. This is Need her. You can see here. Guys, very good. So do check him out. It does have some English content from time to time. But if you want the pure English commentary, of course, you can head on over to my channel and hit subscribe as well. As I will be covering Viego Mid for the next uh, year minimum. So, yeah. Okay, can we... <laughs> so, here. Um, Alright, so it seems like he's really just jumping into the laning phase very late. We're gonna go through and uh, I'll tell you what happened right so victor pretty much just dominates the uh dominates the matchup which is rather unfortunate victor does have mr here as you can see which means um we do have a good amount of damage versus him however it's usually very very hard to all in a victor that doesn't make any spacing mistakes and the problem is that uh, at the end of the day Victor kind of just works very well against any champion that can't quickly all-in him, right? So every slow all-in, Victor does very well against. Maybe not on the initial trade, but then often on the walk back and so on and so forth. So you de definitely have to pick your battles. And the other thing is, Victor can just poke you down. Which is why we're seeing a Doran's, blade, a Doran's shield here. I think that's correct. We see MR. I think that's correct. And um, we have a... Actually, he has AD runes, which is a mistake. And we have, you know, the components here. Uh, we have two daggers and a longsword. See what he builds with this. But um, the, the matchup pre this point, right, usually just goes like this. Viego gets pushed in. And then if Victor makes the mistake of crashing the first two waves, for example, there's an all-in timing to kill the uh, Victor. If he pushes in three, then you usually get poked out too hard and it's very difficult to uh, deal with him. And then once Victor hits level seven, he can just insta-push the wave. And what you want to do is you want to kind of catch the wave. And the only thing that makes Viego kind of scary is his ability to follow up on jungle ganks, right? So you would follow up on R, then auto attack W, and uh, kind of run the victor down that way. So that's kind of what happened, I would assume, but, you know, it's, it's always the same. As, uh, yeah, the victor matchup, not really a complicated one. So here we see him aggressively trade because his jungler is coming, right? And this is exactly what, what goes on here. Now we get the uh, ability here from Victor. And this is a pretty important one. Using it to the maximum. And here we can now snowball after the Jinx. Jinx trying to outplay it here. But will be caught in the... Will be caught in the Fiesta. Way too many wards here, as yeah, he's pinging the wards, because those are the classic Blitzcrank is setting up for a pick wards. And of course, as a Blitzcrank, he will be looking for the squishies here. Gets that pick, now needs to be very careful, as Victor does immense amounts of damage to him. This is something that you always need to be a little bit careful on with Viego, is if you transform into a squishy, you have to understand. You now have to play like a squishy because you can just bl get blown up. So here in the runes we see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, he is going for last stand because he's going to be low HP a lot. Triumph is necessary. Alacrity also kind of necessary. And then here we have the instrumental rune, right? This rune could be Taste of Blood sometimes. But um, you usually do that in matchups where you get to hit your Q pretty much off cooldown. This is not the case in this matchup. In this matchup, we are definitely taking second wind as we will just be poked a lot. And so second wind is very good. You can also go for revitalize to make your Doran's shield passive and, you know, all the healing a little bit more effective. This one allows you more scaling and allows you to deal with the victor slow field a lot though, which is very good. 
everything else kind of basic to see how it works no no real mind blowers here so you had to take w okay so oh oh okay okay so that wasn't even that wasn't even this entire thing was a compilation okay fair fair okay so here we now get a full game so um start at w because of the invade which is rough and yeah he says uh, you can't really win lane when i pull lane against tough opponents it's easy to gank that's absolutely true and this is exactly what uh, viego's abusing and you see him hold the w there until he gets the timing and then we'll collect the any with the w flash any very difficult to trade against you can see it here right as uh, he is going to space it out any now has the flash and we'll find another stun and this is just the problem is any just kites you out right so here completely illegally he lives but uh it's fine also it's going for merc treads a lot early on versus mages this is because uh, viego does benefit quite a bit from having s such uh such items and that's pretty do it does does do pretty good damage anyway right so um it's definitely not a bad choice especially if you're going pickaxe but oftentimes you will want the vampiric scepter in the mid lane just for that additional sustain here we are obviously going for the kills here as uh, we unfortunately don't reach the rakan q a little bit lackluster here but the ward hop is on point we're gonna qq get maximum damage out then r behind her and we'll take her down there very good job any camping in the bush and he hits the solo Tibbers. We will be kicked out. And this is one of the reasons why Lee Sin, very strong against Viego, is able to peel the Viego out of his team. Deny the takedowns here indeed. So Nilly will be able to steal this though. Very, very good. As you can see, of course, the team fighting is just... This is where Viego excels. He has 132 CS at 21 minutes, so definitely not definitely not any crazy numbers, which means that he was grouping a lot and uh, kind of just waiting for situations to happen. He's pinging on the way to get the W, but then we'll find the kills, and this is the, yeah, this is the 2v4 here as they take down everyone. As the dominoes, they fall. Yeah, Viego, of course, is really, really strong with his possess. Here we're going for a quick burst combo and using our R to get through the stun from the cannon. I think he could have gotten in one more auto attack and then R. But uh, he wanted to get this damage off in case that the, uh, the cannon flashes or something, right? Because then he has the ability to follow up there still. So here we get a, another transform. Are able to... Uh, ooh, very good job by the any. Very disciplined. Uh, nice, we find a kill. We will be able to blow this guy up. And pick another one up. Viego's an interesting champion. I feel like Viego, Viego looks really amazing. Maybe even looks like he solo carries, but is not really able to solo carry. Because oftentimes, without your team, you can just be focused down way too easily. But... This was definitely not a bad game. Here, again, we uh, we have a very defensive rune set up. He's actually going for the same things. Okay, this is the victory lane now. Okay. So, yeah, you can see it here, right? His, his idea here um, is that he wants to reach level 2. And the thing is with Victor is that, yeah, this is exactly what he's talking about, right? Do you see what I, what, what I was talking about? This is the level 2 shove out of victor which is very bad usually someone that is really really good at early laning would not go for uh would not go for this crash if you understand what viego wants to do of course you know viego's viego so uh no one really understands what viego wants to do as you barely play against him in mid lane but basically the level 2 to 3 all-ins when he pushes in the wave that's the point where you can run him down and this is kind of unfortunate because you know viego in the mid lane just often doesn't have the ability 
So yeah. Okay, so here Nunu makes the mistake of not hitting him with the ball. Otherwise, maybe he even goes down. And yeah, he could have definitely killed the, the victor there, but... This is the problem with an early ganking jungler, right? Like the Nunu, is that they can absolutely just destroy you. Destroy your game plan. Because versus these control mages, you need to get ahead early. You can see him very heavy trading here. This is the situation with the... Uh, yeah, this is the situation with the uh, gank here where now of course we can do a lot right because we get that victory transform is a very potent one and the scrappy fight continues all right jinx gonna flash out here we will find her though Oof. that was that was honestly that was very scary still very beautiful ultimate by the gragas holy moly and that's just a kill pickup was looking for the nunu that didn't find him though as it would appear. Thinking on the way, we will stop the Hextech Flash. And yeah, Blitzcrank just goes down. Blitzcrank, very good transform. If you can get something with it, it can be very, very spicy. Pressing Q here. Looking for the Jinx. The Chomper is coming in. And you can see it here, right? He's buffering his ultimate with the Chompers. Okay. Yeah, Viego's, uh, Viego's tower damage, not the craziest. We see he has the Blade of the Rune King complete, so he does a good amount of damage. Very beautiful Gragas ultimate, again bails him out there. I mean... Very much, very much the Gragas carrying this though. Very much uh, Gragas making the play there. Beautiful. As yeah, we will just be able to pick up the Nunu. And, okay, we've seen this fight before as well. Yeah, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's just a little bit obvious, right? And then you just get collapsed on by more people. Yeah, it feels pretty bad, huh? If your support just dies and you just go down. Yeah, here, you need to be very careful. Because this victor, if this victor had his E and R up, you just die there, right? So, uh... Definitely need to be very careful. Very beautiful lantern here by the uh, Thresh. Bells that guy out. Ooh, massive damage here. So we're looking for the pickup. We do get it. Very disciplined. You saw how he held he, how he held his ultimate there. So very disciplined. The guy 12, 3, and 6 looks absolutely amazing. And well, it seems like uh, we, we kind of clapped the enemy team. Little bit illegal that that worked out because realistically, I mean, yeah, realistically, the victor shouldn't really, uh, shouldn't really have allowed him the opening. If victor crashes the third wave, goes for e pokes for safe pokes, after that, the lane is kind of ruined for uh, Viego. So, you know, something to consider. All right, well. Thanks for watching, and uh, with this said, I hope that Needher plays some games again, but right now, as it stands, Needher hasn't really been playing that many games. If you look at his OPGG, as you can see here, it's been a couple of days, right? Ten days ago. So uh, hopefully my guy will return to, to us soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And, oh yeah, tell me how you like the, uh, my, my own Viego casting. Might be interesting.